I'm Jonathan, that over there is Kurt. I'm in a Bentley Continental GT Speed going up against Kurt in the BMW M8 competition and this is Edmunds U-Drags. Let's do it. This is an expensive one. Today we have a 2024 Bentley Continental GT Speed with 640 horsepower and 664 pound-feet of torque. Going up against the 2023 BMW M8 Competition with 617 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque. These two are going head-to-head -head in our Edmunds U-Drag track, which starts with a quarter-mile drag, then they hit the brakes, do a 180, and power back to start-finish. At the end of the first run, we'll swap drivers and lanes and do it again. Does the W12 British luxury missile have what it takes to beat the German muscle car? And are you looking to buy a new car? Well, then head on over to Edmunds.com. BMW M8 versus a Bentley Continental with a W12. I've got a twin turbo 4.4 liter V8, which is super powerful, but not as powerful as that. So I'm going to have to use, <laughs> it's hard to believe I'm saying this, the weight advantage of the M8. It does weigh several hundred pounds less than that guy does to uh, hopefully out accelerate it, probably out handle it too. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this in launch control. We've got one of our presets that takes us right into the correct mode and then it's just left foot on the brake, right foot on the gas, launch control activates itself and this thing gets fired out of a cannon. This launch is so hard that it will oftentimes spin the front wheels, which is wild for such a big all wheel drive car. So. It's a lot of fun to drive. It's very fast, um, but it is heavy, but that's heavier. So I hope I'm faster. It's what U-Drags is all about. Who's faster? All right, so the Bentley. Oh my gosh, what a treat. This thing is just pure luxury. You get in and you know you are in something very, very, very expensive. Launching the Bentley, it's pretty straightforward. I wanna be sure that I'm in sport mode over here. We've got this nice little dial here to do that. Next, I wanna turn stability control partially off. There's a dynamic mode where you just press and hold for two seconds. And then, foot hard on the brake, floor the throttle, I'll get a launch control indicator in the gauge cluster. The revs will jump up and off we go. This should hook up without any issue and get out of the hole hopefully quicker than that M8. Fingers crossed, I'm rooting for the Bentley. Let's do this. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, we got a good start. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Look at that luxurious boat go. Oh my God! Ah, oh, come on, Bentley, you got this. Bump it into automatic so it downshifts correctly. Oh, he's gonna try to get me on the brakes. Come on, man, I can stop too. get out of this corner, use that all-wheel drive, and just go for it. Oh. Yeah, come on, you got this, Bentley! Got him. This car is in fast. Come on, W12. W12 power. Go! <laughs> Not catching him. Wow. Oh my God.
This big boy can move. I love me some M8. I, man, I don't know why people are sleeping on M8s. Kurt, how's that M8? I mean, we know the M8's good, but how was your experience in that? I mean, it was great watching that uh, high-end lounge keep up with the M8 in a straight line. That motor is potent. That thing is a rocket ship. This motor, this W12 is no joke. It sounds like it's muted because you've got such great cabin insulation. It's such a joy to hear it even, you know, through this, all this insulation and luxury. And just the way that this car was able to stop and corner is just incredible. This car is still like, it is a, it's a reminder going up against that, even though that car is heavier and it has way more torque and more power, but this car is just, I mean, I love me some M8. Me too, man. Me too. M8, I mean, the M8 is still one of my favorite M cars of the current day, but this Bentley, if I could afford it, <laughs> I'm really, really liking this thing. And I mean, even dynamically, it doesn't behave like a big, heavy car. It'll, it'll get sideways. I got some oversteer on the corner exit. This thing is all wheel drive and it weighs over 5,000 pounds. Like it is insane. What do you say we switch lanes and I get a crack at that? giant, expensive, responsive <laughs> coupe. I mean, if I must, you know, I, I never turn down more seat time in that M8, but you definitely need to, need to try this thing and experience it for yourself because I'm just over the moon with it. We saw that this does get away very quickly, but we also saw it eventually physics is gonna catch up to this thing. So it doesn't quite have the top end acceleration that the M8 does, but still no slouch. So I'm looking forward to it. Jonathan th said some really good things about it. I, you know, I just like being in it because I'm in a Bentley. These are probably the prettiest interiors that you can get. And uh, this one, especially the spec on this is just so Let's hope I can make the most of it. Launch control, very simple. Foot on the brake, I'm gonna floor the throttle. Launch control is ferocious in this thing. I'm sure it'll give me that same lead advantage over the Bentley, and I just have to put together a clean lap at that point. Um, so it's my race to lose. I'm excited, I love driving this thing. Let's do this. Five, four, three. Two, one. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. This thing. <laughs> I'm more comfortable. I look better. Oh my God, this thing is so amazing. This thing still has amazing brakes, wow. Oh, squirrely on the brakes. Oh, used to that. Oh, a little bit of oversteer. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Close as you like. Close as you like. Not close enough, though. Oh, this is the fastest lounge you can buy. Kurt, how do you like that Bentley? Oh, I like the Bentley. I like it. It is amazing how quickly this thing moves its mass around. And, you know, right when you think the car is going to be really heavy, so it's going to suffer in the braking zone, no. 
as heavy as you think it might be, it's gonna suffer going around the hairpin. No, there's really nothing this car can't do except maybe beat an M8 in U-Drags. How's that thing compared to this? It's awesome. Like it feels very plain <laughs> uh, from the driver's seat by comparison. But I mean, I don't think there's any denying that the performance is all there. And it's still like plenty comfortable. It's just not as like luxurious as that car. It's not just enough that it looks like this on the inside, that it's built the way that it is, but that the fact that it can perform the way that it does. I know this is kind of the last of the W12s and I'm gonna kind of miss it. Even though I could never afford one, it's nice knowing these things exist and they're on the road with us occasionally. In case you're wondering, here's the track conditions. All right, let's see how they did. Zero to 60 goes to both with a tie of 3.4 seconds. Quarter mile goes to the M8 at 11 seconds at 126.9 miles an hour. Max cornering barely goes to the M8 pulling 1.25 Gs. And the win goes to the M8 with its best time of 32.6 at 138.8 miles an hour. The M8 did not beat its previous best time, so it stays put in sixth. The Bentley places in 12th with a time of 33.4 at 138 miles an hour. And if you want to see the official leaderboard, head on over to edmunds.com slash Well, what a treat that was. Yeah, that's kind of a once in a lifetime car to drive. And I just, I wish I would have worn nicer clothes. I felt <laughs> underdressed in that car. Yeah, three piece suit would have been mm, perfect. Yeah. What a machine. I mean, the W12, there's kind of nothing else out there like it. Yeah. Like even if it's making similar power, I mean, the sound, just the torque, everything. I think the, the speed proved it's a unique package in that it can be luxurious, but also sporty yeah. at the same time. If you're in the market for a car that is as well built and as stylish as this is, you don't have to compromise. It's not as fast as the M8, but it's still fast. Yeah, I mean, the M8, it, it, not to take anything away from it because it is, it is still, one of my favorite M cars. Yeah. Um, I know I probably said that maybe five times in this video already. But yeah, you, you set it next to the Bentley and it just feels very plain. Like even though you're winning the race, <laughs> yeah. you're like, I'd rather be in that thing. I love the Bentley. I love the M8 competition. It is like also a very nice dual duty machine. Um, also cost about half as much as, as that. Yeah. But also, you know, not gonna get recognized quite as much as, as this, surprisingly. I mean, I'm. I'm okay with that. I'm tired of being recognized by fans <laughs> everywhere I go. Anyways, we love doing these races. If you love them too, be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment, good or bad, we don't care. Uh, and for more Edmunds U-Drag content, go to edmunds.com slash U-Drags, and we'll see you next time.